I have been in this career for 16 years and I have been done only oil tankers and to do something different it always you feel good, you feel really good about it and something for a good cause, nothing like it. What we receive in the receiving tanks, it's a mixture of oil and water. I mean, we are presuming something around, say, 15 to 20 percent of oil in that water. Inflow, main passage for the... We do normally skimming during the daylight hours. and the night time, we utilize it for the decanning part. So we have a great capacity of 50,000, more than 50,000 cubics, which is more than about 300 to 350,000 barrels, depending upon the weather conditions. Approaching the vessel a whale by pilot boat, it is immediately clear this is no ordinary tanker. It is immense, the size of almost four football fields, and there's a reason why they call it a whale. These are its jaws. It is a massive ship designed to consume far more oil-tainted water than anything else on the Gulf. Senor Radhakrishnan captains the vessel. I have been in this career for 16 years and I have been done only oil tankers. And to do something different, it always, you feel good. You feel really good about it and something for a good cause, nothing like it. The Associated Press was the first news organization to tour the ship once it arrived in the Gulf on Wednesday. It's anchored near the mouth of the Mississippi River, while the 36-member crew await clearance to deploy to the spill site. The 10-story high tanker was built in South Korea for a Taiwanese shipping outfit. The ship was designed to carry oil and iron ore, but soon after it was built, days after the Deepwater Horizon explosion, its owner decided to alter it to skim oil. Shipbuilders in Portugal cut 12 vents in the ship's bow. What we receive in the receiving tanks, it's a mixture of oil and water. I mean, we are presuming something around, say, 15 to 20 percent of oil in that water. The mix will be distilled in separate tanks on board. Water will be pumped back into the Gulf from the stern, oil pumped to collection boats. The ship can suck up far more oil than any other vessel working the cleanup. It can also withstand very rough seas. We do normally skimming during the daylight hours, and the night time we utilize it for the decanning part. So we have a great capacity of 50,000, more than 50,000 cubics, which is more than about 300 to 350,000 barrels, depending upon the weather conditions. Members of the crew and officials from the company that owns a whale will be meeting with Coast Guard and BP officials in New Orleans on Thursday. They hope to come out of that meeting with permission to begin operations at the spill site. Jason Bronis, the Associated Press along the Mississippi River.